to team out there, Richie Woodall and John Rawling. This is our Master of Ceremonies here tonight. Nick Benjamin introducing the ring walk of Matt Skelton. And cheers you may hear from a crowd of his fans who are right behind where Richie Woodall and I are commentating. And there are plenty more up on the balcony, away to our left. They reckon as many as three or four hundred have made their way over. And I hear what I hear what people are saying back in the studio, but this is Matt Skelton's big, big opportunity. He's a grown-up boy, he's 40, he's a mature man, he's a fit man, and he intends to make the most of the opportunity that's presented to him. Yeah, too right, John. He's, he's got every chance of Skelton. Um, if he jumps on Chagav, that's my opinion anyway. If he stands back and lets this guy box, I think um, it could be a different kettle of fish. But uh, if Skelton gets on the front foot and really takes the fight to him, Skelton's, you know, he's a real tough fella. I think if he can back him up on the ropes and just slow his movement down a little bit, he's in with a, he's in with a shout, definitely. Well, he's following a, a list of illustrious names, of course, and the WBA title, one of the Premier League titles, Matt Skelton, 39 years old. You see behind him his trainer, Kevin Sanders, and also Dean Powell, who'll be working the corner with him. They'll play an important part. Skelton quoted as, as long odds as six to one against, which in a two horse race is an interesting one. And certainly speaking to Kevin Sanders, he believes that Matt Skelton is going to prove himself to be the stronger and the fitter man. And the further this fight goes, the more Chagayev's stamina is going to be called into question. There's Sanders, the trainer, first man into the ring. And Matt Skelton, well, he looks cool and chilled, doesn't he? He looks very relaxed. And uh, I was also speaking to Sanders at the, um, the weigh-in, rather. And yeah, he thinks that... Um, Chagayev has, has definitely got a stamina problem, so they're obviously going to hopefully take him into those latter rounds. Here's Chagayev then, the ring walk of the champion from Uzbekistan, former world amateur champion. Now the WBA heavyweight champion and the man who seized the title by majority decision from the feared seven foot two inch Russian Nikolai Valoev. There he is, Chagayev, undefeated in 24 contests, a strong man, a southpaw, a good technician, but is he going to be good enough to repel Matt Skelton? This is the moment Skelton's been waiting for. And as Chagayev makes his way forward, Skelton just waits quietly, patiently in the ring. And there's the champion. We do have the national anthems tonight. And here again into the ring we join our master of ceremonies, Nick Benjamin. Who hopefully will introduce them in German and English. Sein Kampfrekord, 24 Kämpfe, 23 Siege, davon 17 durch Karl. In seiner Ecke, Volker Grill, Christoph Busch, Arthur Gregorian, sowie sein Trainer Michael Tim. Aus Usbekistan, der WBA-Weltmeister im Schwergewicht, Russland Chagai! Guillermo Perez aus Panama. 
These are the three judges, two Italians and an American. And now the national anthems. And good to hear an atmosphere in which both anthems were respected there. Dozens of people seemingly in the ring now step out. And the moment of truth is now with us for Matt Skelton, Richie. How do you yeah, think he was, looks? I think he looks uh, pretty calm and cool and well focused. Uh, He's either got to take it to him, John, or like Bunty said back in the studio, maybe stand off and let, let the counter-puncher lead first. So uh, you never know, They're, they'll obviously have a game plan. Good luck to him. It's a big chance for the WBA heavyweight title. I, I've suspect, said before, it's fantastic. I suspect that the plan is going to be to get on him and force the pace. Talking to various so. people in the run-up to this, they're saying, you know, you can't afford this fella to settle into a rhythm. You can't afford to let him just dictate the course of the fight. You've got to make it your fight. And when yeah. they stand toe to toe, uh, nose to nose okay, here, fight, toe to toe, friend. you okay. see that Skelton okay. clearly, okay. the taller okay. and the heavier man, is he now going to be the fitter man? And can he be a good enough fighter and a good enough boxer to meet a man who was an outstanding amateur, once beat the great Cuban Felix Savon, as we've been hearing back in 1997? and also went on to win the World Championship in 2001 in Belfast. Now the action underway, it's a 12-rounder, the WBA crown is at stake, and who is going to be the first to impose their will on this contest? That's good from Skelton, not too, many, not too much clean leather getting through there, but he's straight away shown that he wants to be first and wants to impose himself yeah that's good from Skelton taking the fight to him Chagayev and uh, certainly that will favor Skelton in an inside contest like this at short range yeah he would want that definitely the one thing you can say about Skelton I hear the arguments about how he's got no amateur pedigree how he's late into the sport he freely admits I will never be Muhammad Ali but I know how to win a fight and he is one hard, hard man. He's got a terrific chin, and he's strong. Well, Chagayev not doing a great deal in close there. 
Referee bueno, Guillermo Perez sube, from Panama. Sube más, sube más. British fans making themselves heard. That was better from Skelton then, John, just leading off with that right hand. If he can double that up with the left hook as well, that's the way to go. Skelton's family sitting and friends sitting just behind us. And they're almost in there in the ring. And there you see Skelton, this is where he's at his best. Where he's trying to really bully the man around and trying to mug him. This is this is Skelton's fight. Okay. He's getting away okay. with holding his okay. man around the back okay. of the head. The referee ought to be on top of that one, but he's not. He's here from the corner, Kevin Sanders and Dean Powell shouting, come on, be first with that jab, Matt, be first with the jab. Four and a half thousand people in this arena and a typically German crowd.